did everything. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to know when you're ready to go from practicing web development or developing in general or development in general and move on to the next stage of being an employed developer. How do you know if you're at the stage where you're ready to be hired as a junior developer? For me, the one of the things I've said quite frequently is I think a good case for web development specifically is when you can open up a text editor and build something like you don't it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter if it's a full web application it doesn't matter if it's a single page application like building a javascript calculator from free code camp for instance when you can say hey i you know i've never built a javascript calculator but i know how to get started i can break it up into the pieces and eventually i will get it done that doesn't mean that you're not going to need help that doesn't mean that you're not going to have to look up resources online as a developer now i look at stack overflow um you know w3 schools and a bunch of other resources on a daily basis this is a common practice it's never going to change right you're going to get better but you're always going to run into bugs and you're going to look for people who have maybe solved those bugs or can give insight to get better so once you can kind of build a project from the ground up right and web development is a, a good example because you can build a ton of cool little things in a relative short amount of time you know 10 20 hours whatever it may be but once you're comfortable that someone you're you you feel that if a boss said hey i need you to build x and and you have a rough understanding of what to build it in and you're competent you you feel confident because that's that's what it's about it's being confident enough that hey i'm ready to be a developer i'm ready to take from just studying and practicing to being paid um well hopefully you know hopefully well right or at least just being paid and getting the experience on the resume and i think being able to start out where you have a text editor you can build a project and you've built a couple projects build up a little portfolio and you feel confident that maybe you don't even feel confident but you should feel confident i think is the point i'm trying to get across that if you can go from nothing and have something to show at the end you're there and for me, I cut just a couple things. And then my, my situation is a little unique because I worked at a software company, but I didn't actually write software, right? I, uh, the closest I ever got was wireframing. Um, so uh, working at a software company, I was able to observe the developers and observe from uh, some of these interviews they would do with developers. So like for the front end developers, I would see what they were doing and the QA developers and things like that. And I felt pretty confident just kind of looking over their shoulders, seeing what they're doing, um, talking with them, you know, on a regular basis, and that I could actually do most, if not all, of the things they were doing. Granted, there'd be a learning curve, and that gave me kind of a confidence boost as well. And I, I think the final straw, other than just wanting to work as a developer, was that I they started interviewing developers, uh, and uh, for me, I I. I told my boss I wanted to be a developer, but they were interviewing developers and I would see them do whiteboard interviews uh, through the glass and they'd be drawing it out. And uh, every time, once I've realized what they were doing, I felt I could solve the problem. I, f I felt like, yo, if that's what it takes to, to be interviewed, I'm ready to go. And it's really not a problem if you don't feel confident. You're like, I'm not really sure. Start applying for internships. Start applying for developer jobs and just every time you get say you get one interview a week you'll know what to expect you'll know what what where you're at in return in regards to what the positions available are looking for and it depends by company but you'll learn a lot in the process as well so it's never a bad idea to look very early on and you also meet a lot of cool people in the process you never know where you could reach out you could go you could bomb the interview but as we've as many senior devs have said on this channel before, communication is key. So maybe you communicated really well and said, look, man, uh, we don't have something for you now. You're not quite there. Reach out to us in a little bit. And I encourage you to reach out to people and, you know, do that down the road. But you'll learn a lot even if you, you're a little bit gun shy. And that's okay because a lot of us are introverted and we're not the super social kind. But you can still have good communication skills and not be uh, super social, right? But those are, that's how I knew that I was ready to be a developer, that I could start a project from scratch to finish. And um, I didn't need you know a video tutorial doing it. I, I had the skills that I could break down the problem on my own and start debugging it and get and go just solo. 
Um, and also, in my unique case, I was able to see the developers they were interviewing, and uh, I felt confident I could solve the interview questions, and seeing the stuff they were working on, I felt I had a, a decent understanding. So that, those are my tips of kind of understanding if you're ready or not. And again, even if you don't think you are, you can learn so much by just applying and going and working and like through the interview process. And it's a, it'll be a great learning experience. And I think you'll gain a lot of confidence in the process. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ask a Dev. If you have a question you want answered, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. And if you like me, uh, you can support me at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. Uh, the link is in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck in getting those coding jobs. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding boot camp, check out devmountain.com, where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.